Hey everybody, this is Jason Shadrick, and I am in the Morgan Amps booth with the man Joe Morgan. We like to call it the sauna. The sauna, <laughs> yes. And uh, we were just listening. Uh, today we're going to talk about some uh, some new pedals you have, yes. and also another special thing cab-wise that we're going to talk about. But first, tell us about the pedal we just heard in the intro. Okay, this is my uh, Morgan Fuzz. This pedal has been around in different. Uh, um, well, different cosmetics for about the last six years. Uh, this, it's finally going into production where uh, you'll find, be able to find it at dealers. You'll be able to find it on our website. Uh, you won't have to pay the crazy $300, $600 prices that you'll see on Reverb.com. Um, you can go actually and buy one. They, the Fuzz and the Overdrive pedal, which is uh, also a, a pedal I'm bringing back. I used to do two-stage. This is a single-stage. If you want a two-stage, you can buy two of them. Um, but those are 179 bucks. And then uh, the other two pedals that I've got here are throwbacks to old school fuzzes. And the reason I built these wasn't because there weren't enough uh, companies manufacturing fuzz pedals, but I happened to run across a bin in the shop uh, where we had a thousand old NKT-275 germanium transistors. Oh, yeah. And I was like, and they're all matched and they're all like <laughs> put together and yeah. put aside. It's like, um... Can't put those to waste, you know? No, like, uh, is anybody using these? Do you, <laughs> do you mind if I do? Yeah, right? Yeah, so the NKT-275 fuzz is really your fuzz phase. Uh, classic fuzz phase circuit with the right transistors. You can, it works uh, with a regular, you don't have to use a um, tip negative supply. You can just use the regular power supply that you have on, uh, you know, Voodoo Labs or whatever. You don't need the, the funky cable. Uh, and then the MK2 is actually a tone bender Mark II Professional, which is my favorite of the tone bender yeah. pedals. It's just like, it, whenever you, you're like, if I only could have a, just more fuzz, that would be the pedal that would do yeah, that. Because yeah. it's just overblown, blown up. But again, with NKT-275s. So, and these pedals, uh, the fuzz face uses two of those uh, special um, germanium transistors. That one's 199, and the Mark II uses three, so that one's 219. So they're not crazy expensive when you talk about using old school um, parts, parts and stuff, yeah. but um, and they're small. They fit on a pedal board and they work with your power supply. All right. And we were talking before, and you said you made the fuzz for for players who don't like fuzz. Yeah. This so is, tell me a little bit about that kind of philosophy and how that kind of translates to what we're hearing through the pedal. I, I had a buddy that was one of those guys and he always would um, take his fuzz pedals and you know he, he'd buy fuzzes and he'd buy fuzzes and he'd plug them into a, basically like a clean amp yeah. and he, he said that they sounded awful. Um, the, the, one of the tricks with a, like a real good fuzz is the amps kind of got to be breaking up. It's got to be at that edge of that, that spot so you, when you a fuzz is basically just a square wave so when you push it over that the amps doing what it's doing. It, like in a Fender Twin you run like a, an old fuzz face into a clean Fender Twin, it's gonna sound bad. It's just gonna sound awful. So what this does is it approximates the clipping side of the amp for you, uh -huh. right? So that um, you're getting fuzz from the discrete component, the transistor that's in it, which is a silicon transistor. And then what we're doing is we're adding some clipping to the back end to, to approximate where your amp should be. Yeah. So I can t I can take this amp, which is my SW22R, which is um, my so clean amp, clean. right? And I can add. And that's through single coils, right? Yeah, that's through like a telly with. I think these are Fralins. And but the the mark of a great fuzz is when I do this. To be able to clean up with my volume control. Yeah. I shouldn't get some kind of weird step. I should be able to go all the way through. And it doesn't have that kind of like fizzy high end that sometimes right. turns people off of fuzzes. You know? Yeah. You know, honestly, a lot of times that happens uh, because of the amp and the extra bright caps and the things sure. that people put in. It's. Um, a lot of manufacturers design amps for um, like the showroom floor mm. as opposed to the yeah. real world, yeah. yeah, so they can compete with the other stuff that's on the floor. And when will, we, so we talked about the prices of the various pedals, when are you thinking people can start ordering these, showing stores and that kind of stuff? Uh, 
in the, within the next two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah, all the stuff is going to be live. Our dealers will um, will start shipping to dealers in two weeks. Be able to get it off the website within two weeks. Cool. Um, yeah, everything's going. We we waited till we were in production to the point where we could actually get them out. Right. And, so it's not wait six months and here they yeah, go. Yeah, it's like hey, later this June. <laughs> all right, so now Joe, we're going to take a listen to the Mark II, which uh, has three germanium yep, those? three the old nkt 275s and this is a this again this is a fuzz pedal this is straight up fuzz. this is what yeah. fuzz sounds like <laughs> clean up with your volume control if your fuzz doesn't do that it's time to get rid of it That's right. <laughs> all right joe so the other thing you got here is kind of a almost like a two-in-one iso cap Exactly. So tell us a little bit about what you're calling this and how this whole system works. All right, this is we, we're calling it the chameleon, and, and basically what it is is um, it's my answer to if I wanted an ISO cab, this is what I'd want. Because I mean, nice ISO cabs are run right, right about a thousand bucks loaded. Yeah. And if I'm going to spend, which is how much this one costs, if I'm going to spend a thousand dollars and I'm going to have this carpeted covered dog coffin in the corner of my room that I can't do anything with. You know, except record with, you know, that's great, but A, it's ugly as hell. You know, you can't sit on it. Yeah. Um, you can totally sit on this one. Um, as you just demonstrated. Yeah, yeah, as I just demonstrated. And, uh, but there, it also fixes a few other things. One is typically ISO cabs have a uh, speaker that's mounted directly up, which is not the way speaker cabinets are generally used. So the orientation of the speaker um, will affect its tonality and just the way it records. Um, so <clears throat> I wanted it, I wanted a speaker cabinet that recorded like a speaker cabinet. The second thing is, uh, in an ISO cab, what ends up happening is if you put a box in front of a speaker, you close off the, the, um, it's, it's air. It's, it's, it, there's a limited amount of air compression that can happen here. The speaker is not going to breathe as it should, and so you'll get a different dampening. The speaker will sound different. It'll sound boxy. It'll sound like you put a box in front of your speaker and threw a mic in the box. Yeah. So what we've done is we've created a special air trap that minimizes the, uh, the amount of sound that the cabinet will let out, but it allows air to flow freely within the cabinet. So one of the toughest things to do in, with an ISO cab is to make it um, your high end, your uh, medium gain tones, your clean stuff sound airy and, and light and good. And that's, that's what this air trap allows us to do. So it allows the air out of the cabinet or into the cabinet, lets the speaker dampening behave like it normally would with the, just a regular cabinet. And then we partnered up with a company called Triad Orbits and what we're doing is we have a quick release um, 180 degree rotation swivel that's attached to our goosenecks. One of the other problems with putting a mic on a gooseneck and trying to get it where you want it inside the cabinet that you really can't, that's a six inch gooseneck. It's not gonna wanna move very, you know, to where you exactly you want it. But with this, you know, we can really control where we we're gonna have the mic and the, the speaker placement, whether it's center, or, you know, off axis, and we have two of those in there, and these aren't cheap; they're 50 bucks a piece, right? So, but you get that with this cabinet all at a thousand bucks, and then you know, of course, ISO cabinets cool, but let's say you're gonna go out and you're gonna play, you want to go to a gig, you just disconnect the ISO part, and you've got a one by twelve. Yeah. You take it out, you're playing, you bring it home, you can sit on it. It's, it's really comfy. It's about the right height. Yeah, so it's just, it was my answer to the stuff I didn't like. And also, you find that a lot of your people who use your amps now are going to ISO cabs and weren't satisfied with the sound. Yeah, it's, you know, your houses of worship, um, everybody's trying to control the volume in the room. Uh, even like um, uh, the guys in Dirk's Bentley, um, they're using ISO cabs off stage now and they're playing arenas. 
um, and stadiums, but they still want to maximize the or minimize the amount of volume that they have on stage so that their front of house gives the best experience to the, the people that come. So you said this was $1,000 for the whole, whole thing here. Yes. And then what's the availability going to be on when these are going to be rolling? These, uh, well, we've just started producing them now. Um, so order today. Order today. Yeah. So you- so where would they go to order such a thing? Well, you can go to uh, morganamps.com, see my dealer network there. Just yep. put in your zip code, and it'll tell you the closest dealer. Um, or you can just you know contact us through the site too. If you you know if there's something there that you don't find locally that you you'd like to pick up, but yeah. All right, Joe. Thank you so much for showing us all your new stuff. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for coming by. This is Jason Shadrick with PremierGuitar.com. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch all of our NAM videos.